Hello Zedigir and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. So we, let's see, we have some achievements. So let's start with the try to evolve the whip. So let's play Antonio. So attack deals 10% more damage every 10 levels, max of 50%. Then let's just go with the inlaid library. Also not get hit by those. Or I do not get hit. I should actually go the other direction. Oh that's still loud. Oh that might be insane. Uh root racer. And there's always a level uh pistol here. Like if you immediately pick that up you will gain a level. Uh, from the start. Uh, let's see. Let's go cross. Cross and room tracer. We should kill the points of them. We're all getting levels on these. Uh, Let's actually pick a track one. Let's see what we get. So... I actually don't know which one I need. This projectile speed. Let's go with braces. I know to evolve you need special uh, items. But I have no clue which items that you need for the, the evolutions. At least the room tracer is doing the, some serious damage. So, another attack to him. He's really not willing to give me any other buffs. Let's go Hollow Hearts. Increase the max health. Pretty sure I need that. Uh, let's try to get the whip all the way up. This is a problem. Uh, not a bit level. So I have both sides that uh, whip now. So left and right. Less health and the mid boss. Oh, he hurts a lot. Not a whip.
Spellbinder. Increase the duration of weapon effects. Uh, let's actually just go with Cross for now. Get his damage up. Oh, time stop. I'm not taking the ebony wings and clock lancet, so let's go rune tracer. High tier version. And uh, the chest. Oh, that's how you skip it. Also, yeah, in uh, this update, you're allowed to uh, skip the uh, animation for the chest. So we got another room tracer. Oh, there's way too many enemies. Mm, let's get garlic. I'm pretty sure with the, uh, to get a new character I'll need level uh, 7 on the garlic. We still have two more weapon slots. And three more uh, utility slots. Level six. Yeah, I like the garlic for the weak enemies, like the massive uh, groups of enemies, like the bats and those skulls. They should get insta killed because of the uh, garlic. Um, let's get cross. I don't want to level up cross first. Cross and whip. Uh, garlic. Way bigger area. Base speed. Let's go with weapons first. Weapons before utility. Oh, the garlic. It's leveling up really well. Yeah, those green ones uh, get nuked out of existence because of the garlic. Pretty sure garlic is not that great on later levels, when the enemies have like stupid health. But for all the weak ones, it's insane. Even though we got pretty late in the run. Like getting this early on is uh, like the best time to get garlic. No, go away. Bad Benji. Let's see, whip level 7. It's 
so we're almost eight minutes in. We're already level 20, so it's not too bad. As long as we can survive this. Oh yeah, pretty sure this works really well against ghosts. chest. Ah, oh, only a tractor. That was not what I was hoping for. Also, I'm getting cornered. Well, there's a chest. That's a single one. And room trace. So that is level... 4. So double room tracer. Not a chest. Let's wait for a bit. Let's say it's because it's almost impossible to get to it at the moment. Yeah, level 8, but I'm just rushing for it. Oh, it's a triple! Oh, yeah. So, double room tracer and a glove. So level 5 and then level 6. And what's that? The speed upgrade on the all weapons? Yeah, base speed up. Let's get level 7 boot tracer. Wow, it's lagging like crazy. Well, if it has to do with the uh, full screen mode or something, that's lagging. Like, this was not an issue last time. My full screen has been added. Well, it might not light my screen. I want to set it back to what it was before and see if that actually works better after this run. Uh, level 8 room tracer. Oh, that's a lot of gen save. That's the uh, upgrade version of the world. Yeah, bloody tear. Evolved whip can deal critical damage and something else. That went away really quickly. Wait, it only goes one way. That's not that great. Uh, 
let's go hollow heart. What hell? These things are a pain in the ass. There's way too many. At least I'm regenerating every time. Let's get empty tone. Oh, that's him. Wow, I was hogging one of the creatures uh, and it uh, wasn't able to kill me. Mm. Should I go with axe? I have two other weapon slots. Yeah, let's get the axe. No, oh, no way. Yeah, the regeneration is great. The uh, you only hit one side. Is really horrible compared to level like level uh, two or three of this weapon without the upgrade. Let's see. Let's upgrade crossfire. It feels like the frame rate is going up and down and up and down. And I'm pretty sure I can't see frame rates. At least not in the game. And it should not be my system, so... Uh, let's get King Bibble. So we have all the uh, weapons we can get. Direct orb. We still have one more slot for the uh, utility item. Still leveling at a pretty decent rate. Now let's just go with King Devil or King Bible. I don't really care. To be fair, it does do a lot of damage. And that's a pipe. Because that's a uh, virus. The rarest chest. All utility. So what's that? 20% more health in total. More base speed up for all weapons. One. And all cooldown reduced by 8%. And what was the last one? Effect last uh, for 10% uh, longer. I actually don't know what that works on. Uh, this is a lot of enemies. Let's see... Yeah, let's get spinach. Don't know if I need it. More 
garlic. Let's go X up. Both projectiles. level up. If you can get the, all the weapons up to level 8, that would be great. That will take a bit. 15 minutes. Uh, King Wibble. And just. Seems like that one's always 10% for every level. Oh, we're leveling up like crazy. Uh, cross. The more crosses, the better. I don't say we didn't get a duplicator. But that would probably help with the. Uh, Two side hits. Not that anything can come close to me, but at least not with uh, this level of garlic. Uh, those are harder to kill. Level seven cross. It's way harder to kill. Well, there's money. If you're getting a decent amount of uh, coins, like the passive upgrades, uh, this is a problem. I'm getting stuck. Can and will kill me if they hit me. At least not as fast because of my massive health increase, but. Hopefully, I can get to that chest. That's a damage increase, I'm guessing. Yeah, 10% damage up. Can I still get that? Yeah, I can. I was kind of afraid it was stuck in the bookcase. So I couldn't get it. And that's the uh, bracer, I think. Yeah, so 10% speed up. So it looks like I don't have the... Uh, Thing to upgrade the boomerang uh, across. Uh, at least we have the whip, so we got the 500 coins for the achievements. Because I was kind of after that, slowly get all of them. Uh, if we hit level 7 on the garlic, we should unlock the new character. 
so yeah, but that's level 7, so we unlocked it. So, level 8 garlic. Almost at 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure the last boss uh, spawns at like 25 minutes. Tracer is just erasing enemies. Let's see. Let's reduce all cooldown. Have the weapons trigger faster. Wow, the knockback on the uh, crosses is pretty uh, big. Like that mid boss is not getting anywhere that close to me. That's a lock thing. No clue what that does. But I have no clue what lock does in this game. Uh, things start for spawning there. Let's get King Bibble. Look, it's a train and the green guy. Uh... Oh, bad banshees. Way too many. Oh, he hurts. A lot. Even with all my health, that hurt. Oh wait, I shouldn't run away from the skulls. The 3 XP. Let's see... Spinach. Oh, dog, uh, triple. That's the X and double damage upgrades. Yeah, so like 20% damage more damage on all weapons. Yeah, that's why you want uh, garlic mostly. Not a clue. Almost at the uh, boss time. So, King Bibble. Kind of want to get that to level 8 if I can. But I don't know if I can get there. Oh, I don't want to open the chest yet. The only way to get the uh, evolved uh, weapons is through the chests. Well, I will need to get it before I hit uh, the 25 uh, minute mark. Oh, that hurts. That's damage. Nope. Uh, let's get access. It doesn't look like I have a choice at this point. Uh, 
that guy died. Let's see. Single. The bracer. Not that great. This base speed up. Also looks like the experience is down by quite a bit. Let's freeze everything. I need one more level. Oh, I'm waiting with that one. I am wondering if I can insta kill the boss. So I'm waiting on get with a 25 mark and then hit the cross. And then it automatically got drawn in. So that's not happening. It's because of my magnet ability. Oh. I was just wondering if he could uh, destroy him instantly. And I would never know. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, level 8. Do I have the requirements? And it looks like I do. The book with the V on it. Holy Vespers. Evolved King Bibble. Never ends. Oh, that's neat. Looks like they get incinerated before they get to me now. Yeah, King Bible is really useful. Uh, let's get X. 30 seconds until we get to the uh, boss level. Or boss timer. Uh, level 6 on the X. Oh, don't get too close. Level 7x. Oh, there he is. Now the question is, can I get far enough away from him? Nope. I'm really not fast enough. So we'll unlock Poe with the garlic, so we evolved the whip. And we evolved King Dibble. Well, on Holy Vespers did uh, 2.8k da damage in like a minute. Yeah, that's crazy. So the bloody tear is nothing compared to uh, the unholy vespers. Let's see. Done. So we should have unlocked Po. So 800. Permanent plus 25% pickup radius and minus 30 max health. And he starts with garlic. And then we still have more. I don't want to get the uh this one. Why is one more projectile all weapons? Uh so if I do refund power-ups, then amount. 
So we should have another bullet. And that's cooldown. Cooldown might not be a bad idea. That's armor. Growth. Oh, that's more experience. Let's get cooldown and. Several might. Anything else I want? Small amount of recovery. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. So, thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.